hello. Can I? How are you? Thank you. Okay, let's grab a haircut. Okay, here very short, yes? Here nothing. Oh, sorry, it's a product. What's your name? Yeah? Okay. See how it turns out, yeah. I want to get a haircut, and I think this is the best place you can get. I mean, the best way, just on the streets. I can't see anything obviously but I do have a mirror. I've been trying to find one for quite some time. I've been in Hanoi for a few days already. But they always seem to be in hiding. And this one is actually just next to my accommodation. I just need to take a, a right turn instead of a left one. Turn. Just here on the street. I have no idea what's going on back there. <laughs> we will see how it turns out. I guess that's the fun of a street cut. This is, uh, I think, old quarters. I will show you a little bit once we are done with this. Just so you know where the area is, if you are lost too, and in need of a haircut. I'm thinking now I should have asked the price first, but hopefully he won't try to overcharge me. I think typically the price is like $2, so that's like 50, 50,000 monies. I wasn't planning on getting a haircut now. I mean, I just showered. That's why the hair is so sticky. But I found, I saw it, so I, I was looking for a few days, so. You know, we don't think too much. That's how people know me. Then you don't think too time. Okay, good. You have a lot of experience, yeah? I think it should turn out good. I'm liking so far. To be honest, most of the idea was to get rid of most of the dark hair. Because I look like uh, my hair was now two tones because I have my natural hair growing under. So that was the main idea. Very nice. What do you think? He's giving me a proper Peaky Blinders cut without telling him. 
I like it. Isn't this the best setting for haircut? Doing a fade also, that's impressive. Quite impressive. Look at the tools here. We have some scissors, machine, machine. I'm assuming some blades. The cream, that's it. That's probably water. I'm guessing he should have some alcohol somewhere also. If he's, uh, you know, cutting with the blade. That's probably the blade right there. Not a bad setting, huh? Kind of sweating a bit. Because not very hot, but some days when there's no rain and when the sun is out, it gets pretty hot in Hanoi. Oh, this looks pretty nice. No, no, it's okay like this. We leave it to grow a little bit more. Yeah, it's fine. You just pack, pack, done. Good? How fast is this? No need, no need. Thank you very much. I don't like people touching my face. How fast was this? Oh, thank you very much, good sir. I look like a new man, huh? Amazing, amazing. Yeah. Thank you very much. How much uh, is it? Ah, he's going to show me. Perfect. One hundred. Okay. Thank you very much, thank you very much. It looks awesome. Thank you. I will come back. Yeah? Okay. I will come back for more. Thanks a lot. How about this setting, guys? This was amazing. And I love it how fast it was. I don't know, some people like to go to, go to the barber shop, stay and talk and whatnot. I hate it. I hate to do that. Okay, so in Vietnam, you always gotta watch out for scooters. I hate sitting at barber shops, I hate sitting at hairstyle, getting a hairstyle and stuff. I just want to be in and out, that's it. Five minutes if possible. I'm in, I'm out, I'm done. Bye bye. Thank you very much. So I love it, he was, uh, he was great. I didn't actually leave a tip because he 100% overcharged me. That's way too much. That, that's uh, just for a haircut so fast. It's a bit, uh, I think it's a bit too much. Actually, you let me know in the comments and uh, I will be back and I will eventually probably tip, but I feel like it was too much for the amount of work done, it was basically just using the razor. I have to tell you, I wish she didn't use that sponge on my face. I don't know if you saw it, but that was pretty... It looked pretty dirty. It didn't look like the cleanest uh, thing to clean your face with. Anyways, I really loved it. I'm going to do it again and I'm not getting a haircut in Vietnam 
at any anywhere else rather than a street barber. There's plenty. It's one of their big traditions since like 70 years ago. They're doing it, so definitely that's where I'm cutting my hair. Ah, uh, for now, that's it. Let's move on to other experiences. Bye.